How to make a YouTube thumbnail on Canva. Hey everyone, it's Maria here with Esatino Media, and on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so if you want to make a YouTube thumbnail on Canva, it's pretty easy. So you want to open up Canva here, go all the way to the left, click on create, and then you'll see here what would you like to create. Now you can type in YouTube thumbnail. You can see here that it's already one of the first options. So you might already see it underneath because it's a very popular tool on Canva, but you can also type in YouTube thumbnail and then you'll see that it pops up here. So we'll click on that. Once we open it up here, you'll see that it automatically gets you to the right dimensions that you need for a YouTube thumbnail, which is 1280 by 720. So you don't have to do anything with that. So you're gonna get your blank template here and you can make one from scratch or especially if you're starting out, the easiest thing to do would be to look up a template. So again, we're gonna go all the way to the left, click on design. And then here you would type in the word thumbnail or as you can see, it's already right here at the bottom. So you can click on thumbnail. And here it's gonna give you tons of different templates to choose from, almost too many to be honest with you. So if you have no idea the look you're going for, you can go here and look for some inspiration. And so once you're in templates, you can see that it gives you thumbnail, podcast, blog, gaming. It gives you different options depending on what kind of YouTube video you're making. So let's click on travel, for example. It gives you templates specific for travel that you can look at. Say you're doing wellness. Let's see what pops up for that. So health and wellness, well-being, yoga, mindfulness. Um, so for us, let's just pick the word YouTube. So let's just pick the first one at the top here. So it automatically goes right into the area here that we're going to be working with. And from here, you can play around. You can change colors. You can change images. You can change text. You can change fonts. All of this is completely customizable to your liking. Maybe you want to change nothing. It's completely up to you. So let's say I want to change the title. You would click on the most and then let's type in how to and then here uh, make a YouTube and then we can make this a little bit smaller here and we can adjust it slightly how to make a YouTube thumbnail. So there we go, we changed that. Let's say we don't want a picture of this guy with his mouth wide open. We can delete this by just clicking and pressing delete. And then we can go over to elements and then pick, uh, let's look for the word shocked. Go to photos and what do we like here? Let's go for a picture of, I kind of like the cat, but let's go for the girl. So we can put her image here and we can actually remove the background. And that's just by going up here and clicking background remover. Now this crown here means that this is only a feature for pro users. We would click on background remover and we can make this a little bit bigger here. And also let's just move this over so it's easier to click and move her around. And let's say we even wanted to edit how she looks. We can go to edit and we can use some filters here. We can add a shadow. Why not? Let's see what that does. Let's put a bit of a glow behind her. Why not? And there we go. So we've edited that. Now let's say we don't necessarily want the background color to be red. We can make it purple. We can make it yellow. We can make it white. We can make it so many different things. This kind of, you know, goes a little bit more. Let's go for this color here. And you can add elements if you wanted to, like if you wanted to add, um, you know, stars let's say go to graphics and you know we can add this in here somewhere and i like it so we'll add it again down here for a little bit of visual interest so as you can see, there's tons of different things you can do. Like I said, you can change the fonts, you can change the text. If I wanted to change this to, let's say, Anton for some reason, you know, I can do that. I don't really like that, but there we go. We can do that. We can even change the effects. This has a lift effect. We can make that less. We can make that more. We can change it to a splice effect instead. So using the templates is a really good way for you to get started, especially if you are new to making YouTube thumbnails. You can duplicate this whole thing as well. If you wanted to use the exact same template for a bunch of videos, you can just click on this little icon here that says duplicate page. 
click on that. And now if you wanted to, you can just change this text to whatever other topic it is that you're making. And then you can change these elements if you want to. And it just makes it a lot easier to bulk design and make a lot of different thumbnails at the same time. Okay, so I hope this helps. It's a really straightforward way to get started on making YouTube thumbnails on Canva. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know in the comments below or by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.